This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from FemlineVisualEffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this. Can I get 500 likes for this tutorial? If yes, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first create a new composition by clicking here and rename it to main. And I'm going with same 1920 1080p frame rate 29.97 and duration make it 6 seconds long then click on OK. Okay, now we are going to create our text layer. So right click new then click on text. Then type your text here. And for this text, I'm using Regan's Bark font. You can download this font from link in the description box below. Okay, now make it center. And make it a little bit smaller. Okay, let's create another text layer. So right click new, then click on text. And then type your text here. I type in cinematic. And for this text, I'm using Bangothic font. Let's make it smaller. And then change the position. And let's change the color to red. Looks good to me. Now we are going to add a drop shadow effect on our text layer. For this, uh, first you need to turn on transparency by clicking here. Then go to effect and preset window and search for drop shadow. Then simply select this effect and apply onto this text layer. Then opacity change it to 100% and direction set it 160 degree and distance set it 24 and then softness set it uh, maybe 46. Then select this effect and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate this effect and then change the opacity to maybe 75. Then go to effect and preset window and search for glow. Then select this effect and apply onto this layer. And then change the glow threshold to 62 maybe and then radius to 0 and intensity set it to 0.3. Perfect. After that, uh, select all the effects by holding Ctrl, then press Ctrl plus C to copy all the effects. Then select the second layer, then press Ctrl plus V. Then simply select this layer and place it below the first layer. Ok, now select these two layers, then right click, then choose pre-compose and select mobile attributes and rename it to text. Then click on OK. Now turn off the transparency. Now we are going to import our project files. You can download these project files from link in the description box below. Also I am using some files from Envato Elements. Now before we continue I would first like to thank Envato Elements for sponsoring this video. Design video product faster with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download after effect templates, stock footage, fonts, mockups, photos, presentation, music files, web template and more. Visit the Envato Elements and start creating today. Check the first link in the description. After import the project files, select this matte layer then place it into this timeline. Then select this layer and then change the layer track matte to luma matte. looks good to me okay now select this two layer then make it 3d by clicking here now create a null object for this right click new and then click on null object make it 3d then select this two layer then paint it to null one then select this null object then go to beginning of this animation then press p to open position 
then set a keyframe on position then decrease the z amount very high something like this then go forward few frames and then z amount set it zero and then go to end of this animation and then increase the z amount something like this then select these two keyframe then press f9 to make them easy ease then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this Okay, now go to project window and then select our BG layer and place it into this timeline. Again, go to project window and then select our smoke layer, then place it into this timeline, then change the layer mode to add. And do same with this particular layer as well. looks good to me now select this lens flare and then place it into this timeline and then change the layer mode to add at the end select this heat distortion map and place it into this timeline then turn off visibility of this layer then create a new adjustment layer so right click new and then click on adjustment layer then select this layer then go to effect preset window and search for displacement map then select this effect and apply onto this layer then set the displacement map to our heat distortion map and then change the horizontal and vertical amount to 3 then again create a new adjustment layer so right click new and then click on adjustment layer then select this layer and then go to effect preset window and search for Venetian blinds then select this effect and apply onto this layer then transition completion set it 10 percent and direction set it 90 degree and then width set it 2 looks good to me okay again go to effect preset window and search for photo filter then select this effect and apply onto this layer and then filter set it underwater and then density set it 50 percent then again go to effect preset window and search for curves then select this effect and apply onto this layer and then change the rgb curves to something like this perfect okay let's create a black solid layer and rename it to flame bar then click on ok then go to toolbar and select rectangle tool then double click on it then double click on this max path then hold down alt and control then drag then click here to invert the mask our animation is complete press 0 to ramp view this thank you very much for watching this tutorial have a great day